as you meditate, you're creating a shelter and a home for the mind, a place where you can rest, a place where you can gather your strength. Because otherwise the mind is wandering around all the time and has no safe place to stay. It tries to take shelter under the eaves of roofs and under trees, but they don't provide any real solid shelter. What you need is something where the shelter is really impervious to all kinds of things. In other words, you need a place where no matter what's happening outside, sights, sounds, smells, tastes, tactile sensations, or ideas coming through the mind, you've got a safe place to stay where you don't have to be buffeted by them, you don't have to be harmed by them. This is what we do as we work with the breath. We create a nice, comfortable place to stay in the mind. And then discernment is the roof that protects us from the elements. In other words, you see something coming in, a thought that you know is going to cause harm. It's going to make you upset, it's going to make you angry, it's going to make you lustful, whatever. And you can fend it off. You can say, I don't need that thought. I don't believe in that thought. And at the very least, even though the thoughts may still be there, they don't have the same power they used to have over the mind. This gives you a chance to gather your strength and also realize that there's a sense of well-being that comes simply by being still in the present moment. You learn to appreciate that. And as you appreciate it, you find that you can make use of it. And John Fuang, my teacher, once said there are three steps to the meditation. One is learning how to do it. The second is learning how to maintain it. Here he's talking about the concentration. And then the third is learning how to put it to use. In other words, we're not just hiding out. We're learning skills in how to deal with situations as they arise. So when something unfortunate happens or something unpleasant happens, the mind isn't wounded. And it can still figure out what is the most skillful thing to do or say or think right now, and it has the strength to do that. You need the stillness to see what's right, and you need the strength in order to do what's right. And sometimes we can see what's right, but we don't have the strength to do it. Or sometimes we know what we didn't see. So get the mind still so you can see, and then give it a sense of well-being by nourishing it with a breath, by nourishing it with good dharma. That way you've got the strength that you need in order to deal with any situation as it arises. and not come out scarred, and actually help yourself, help the people around you. It's in this way that your own inner strength is a gift, not only to yourself, but to the, to the world at large. <laughs>